Okay, we have our last type of evil, uh, equilibrium problem for this unit. So we're asked to calculate the equilibrium concentrations of all four ions when 100 milliliters of 0.05 molar lead nitrate and 200 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium iodine are mixed. So we're in your book. We're on pages 725 to 727. I know this is kind of hard to read. Now, first thing I always like to do is I like to start with my picture so I can kind of get an idea of what's happening. So I know I'm going to have 100 milliliters of the lead nitrate and twice as much sodium iodine. And that shows me just from this picture that I'm going to have to be diluting these initial concentrations. The other thing I know is that I'm going to have lead um, and iodine reacting to form lead iodide, okay, initially, and then some of that lead iodide is going to go back and um, dissolve back in the water. So um, this is going to be the insoluble substance. I knew it wasn't the sodium or the nitrate because I know my solubility rules and I know that both of those are soluble. So to get started, let's find these new concentrations. Um, Hopefully you know by now that to find a new concentration, we're going to use M1V1 equals M2V2. So when we do that, I did it for both of them here for you. No peeking. Okay. Um, we find that the new lead nitrate is that molarity, and the new sodium iodine has that molarity. Okay. Um, so... We can use these ones already to get the sodium and the nitrate out of the way. We know that since there's one sodium, the concentration of sodium is going to equal this new diluted concentration because the sodium is just a spectator. And we know that there's two nitrates here, so the concentration in the nitrate is two times as much. So I wrote those over to the side. Okay, where I'm kind of keeping track of my substances. These ones are, that's what they're going to be. Once they're diluted, that's what they're going to be. Now, um, I have to see how much, um, well, first I have to see, am I going to actually form any solid? Or are these ions just going to be in the water and then I'm done? So I'm going to do a Q. Um, here's the KSP. And I know that it's equal to 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8th because it's in my book. And it would have been given to you in the problem if you didn't have a book. Um, and so I'm going to do a Q. And when I do my Q, I find, yes, we will form some precipitate. I bet you could have guessed that because otherwise we wouldn't have to do this problem. <laughs> so anyway, we will form precipitate. Um... So just to review so far, we drew our picture, we diluted, we found the sodium and the nitrate, which are the spectator ions, and then we figured out, will there be some precipitate forming, and we saw, yes, there will. From here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pretend like all of the ions react to form precipitate, and then only a couple of them dissolve back in the water. Okay, it's going to make solving this problem much easier. So I have a reaction. Okay, my reaction is the lead plus the iodine makes lead iodine. And um, in order to figure out, like, um, if, if we assume that all of this is going to form, then we're actually going to have one of these limiting our reaction. So what we need to look at is not the molarities, but the moles. So I'm going to do, um, since I'm looking at moles, I'm going to do a before change after, which we call a Becca. It's kind of like ice, um, but we're just doing it for moles. So before the reaction, I have this molarity of lead from, above, from up here. And I have 0.3 liters, so that means that I'm going to have 0.005 moles. And I have that molarity of iodine from up here. And so that makes uh, times 0.3 3 liters, so I have 0 0.202 moles. Okay, so that's my before the reaction happens. Now, 
just looking at these, I can see that this one is the bigger, and um, I know that I'm limited by this. Okay, you do, this is stoichiometry, so you do have to take into account the fact that I need two iodines for every one lead, but this number is still smaller. So my change is going to be I'm going to lose all my lead and have no ions left over, and I'm going to lose two times whatever my lead is, um, and that leaves um, 0 0.0100 moles left over. Okay, so we're almost done. Do you see now that we have just a common ion problem? We have the iodine is, um, there's some iodine still not reacted, and so the rest of this lead iodide is going to um, dissolve back in the water, but we have to do an ice because we have this common ion. Okay, so um, that would just look like our ice would have 0 0.100 mole um, divided by my liters, 0 0.300 liters. And that is the molarity of my I minus, and then my PB3 plus is zero, my change is plus X, my change is plus 2X, and X here, and um, we will get to neglect the X here, okay? Um, once you solve this, okay, you pretty much found the iodine because we're going to um, neglect the X, and when you solve for X here, you found the lead, so you're done with the problem, okay? Um, come see me if you need help. I know it's crazy, but hopefully you guys see how it's all the parts together in one. Thanks for your time, okay, and effort. Yay! Bye.